Hello and welcome back to Full Scholarships. You might have faced some outage on Instagram and Facebook pages of ours yesterday. It was due to the international outage of the platforms. And we all know that we were severely hit and you might have faced redirected to our website and that's why we have uh, also introduced our YouTube channel to you. So if you are watching this and you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe so that in future if Instagram makes us feel uncomfortable anymore so that you cannot miss the opportunities and you can directly apply from the YouTube channel. So please subscribe. Also, if you are not followed us on Instagram, please click the follow button and you can get the link from the scholarship here or you can also get it from the video description. So beginning our today's video, we'll be discussing about fully funded scholarship in Singapore. So for this opportunity, you can get the link from the video description below from our YouTube video. And if you are watching on YouTube, so you can get the link from the video description or if you are from Instagram, so you can click on this link in bio or you can watch our Instagram story and get the link. Also, you can message us for the link or you can comment down below. We will send you the link to apply to this opportunity. So this is provided by the Singapore and NTU scholarship is this and it's president's graduate scholarship. So, so it will be covering masters, PhD and bachelors and it's fully funded the deadline for this opportunity is 30th of november here you can see and the allowances will be living allowance accommodation and travel grant so here you can see what will be for the graduate and for graduate students like masters who, who wish to pursue masters here will be given this type of stipend so here are the available fields of study the graduate programs that you can apply and i think it almost covers all the schools and the main top main institutes are uh, in this so here are the undergraduate programs and here is eligibility criteria it's open to all nationalities if you are from any of the countries so you can apply here is the deadline 30th of november so means you have uh, around 25 days left to apply for no it's uh, like you have for uh, two months around to left to apply this so after reading all the details you uh, when you will be redirected from the link from the video description below so after you will be redirected to this page here you can read all details you have to scroll down to end of this page here you can see how to apply section so if you are intending to apply uh, for bachelors you can simply click here visit here this red button or if you want to apply for masters or phd you can simply submit a here application so uh, let me cl be clear that the application is similar to both of them only the documents vary to the bachelors and masters or phd so portal is similar i'll be showing you full application process for the graduates uh, masters or phd so simply either you apply for bachelor simply click here or if you are applying for master simply click here so i will be clicking here for masters i will show you how to apply for masters so click here it will redirect you to the official ntu university website so here you can check the eligibility coverage and here is the application procedure so the application of academic year 2022 will open from 1st of october so means five days have passed away and the application is open so simply you can read other details now to apply begin application process simply click here on this apply here button it will take you to the graduate research admission system so here you can see submission of online application after submission of online, if you have previously submitted then these are for you so i am applying for new so i have to create here on new application so simply click on this new application now here you can see this form may take you 20 minutes to complete so google chrome is the best browser to use for this so here is the checklist you have to keep all these 11 documents 11 steps ready so that you can apply 
so this generates automatically an application id you don't have to do anything with this now submit your passport number your date of birth and then email address after filling click this acknowledgement and then i am ready to apply online click here so after this the first page has appeared you can check six page are there if you have previously applied for the university program research so we have not so we have not just save and exit oh sorry we have to actually so we have to click next so we have no previous records so click on next now this is page two of six and we have to select the details program applied for so select the program so here you might get confused what to choose so here is the link click for details now cee is the civil engineering and i have i want to apply for that civil engineering and c go i have to choose cee simply go here and check cee so i have chose cee so you if you have any special program dual degree joint degree you can submit that but i don't have so i am applying for full time now submit the personal details your name the religion Martial status and citizenship. So, are you a Singapore resident? No, I am not. So, this is yes. So, do you have hold the employment pass? No, I don't have. Hold a student pass? No, no dependent pass. Okay. now fill the home address so here you can see i have completed my address details now let me upload the passport after all details you have filled click next so here you can see the page of page 3 of 6 now submit the educational background details your previous qualifications 1 2 3 whichever is applicable to you you need to submit that so let me submit my choose your university so let me try to change the country first
okay so this two okay now we have order we have to change so just i am showing you this my doc so it will change to australia so qualification obtained okay then bachelor so i have first class so the applicable cgpa is 3.88 on a 4 of 4 scale so ranking in class is like 4 out of 100 so country region of study it's australia now upload degree certificate click upload now choose file and upload after choosing file click on this upload button now click close and if you have any other educational qualification you have to submit that so degree currently you are pursuing so I have no degree right now now wait for the page to load So click next. So here comes the page four of six. If you have any work experience, submit that. If you have any test scores, you need to submit that. So I have none of them i have but i don't want to apply uh, submit them so let me check if they are compulsory then i will submit it later but right now i am going to skip and select next so here comes the page five of six so my first choice i am going for the transportation second i will apply for the water and third i will apply for the environmental so if you have selected any other so I don't have any other so like proposed research topical you have to submit what you want to do what is your proposed research like and I am just showing you how to submit you need to upload at least so let me upload at least my research proposal after choosing file click upload now select close after that if you have any significance uh, submit that if you have any research experience published papers scholarships now upload the cv it's compulsory click on upload and choose file and up after uploading cv if you have any proposed faculty you can submit that So I don't have any right now so I am just leaving it blank so any academic reference that you want let me submit this then click next you have to fill the correct details I am repeating again do not copy paste any of the details then click next so gmail id is not okay let me submit this now click next 
you have to actually submit the professor's email so that must be on the university domain you don't have to use the gmail or professor ask him for the professional email that has been provided by the institute or university of the previous institute that you were studying so or any professor that you who wants to recommend you who do you want to recommend so ask him his professional email and then it's the page six of six so if have you been currently enrolled as degree so no okay so if you have any now here comes the important part nine uh, president's graduate scholarship so you have now filled the admission process till now now this comes the scholarship part so you can also submit your uh, any extracurricular activities here so you are opting for the president scholarship do you in the event you are not given the rank president scholarship, do you wish to consider it for and your research course yes i want to consider if president scholarship is not applicable to me i want still consider to be so these are two scholarships you have been now given an option on so if you have in the event given not given the anti research course will you sell paying basis so i might get the admission so let me just say yes till now so now the photograph part submit the upload photograph and how did you hear about this so just say other and copy our link and paste it here now upload photo first after selecting click proceed after uploading all photographs click the declaration now preview complete form and make payment okay so okay i don't have anything now you must enter all declarations so let me check what is there left Okay, now complete. Now preview complete and make payment. This website might take some time to load, so it will be redirecting us to the uh, final. Please update. Criminal record declaration. Okay, so we do not have. Okay, we have to click here to submit our waiver criminal record. So click click here so that we can see that what is the criminal record form. So we have to clear that. Okay, I have no criminal records. Then I certify and submit. Now click confirm. Check done. So here you can preview complete form and make payment. So let's wait for the page to load. Can okay, exit here also. So it's loading. So. 
so it's in the stats so now your application is successfully submitted so you have to wait for the results so it will be uh, you they will just mail you about let me check my email also so here is your application has been successfully submitted and so after completing payment it is successfully submitted so i hope you have understood the process so similarly if you have like applied for master is okay now if you have applied for bachelor's you have to click here so let me show you the highlights of that here you can see for bachelor's go to here application procedure and the scholarship application can be found by link for apply for scholarship at the end of your online application so we have to first fill the online application then we have to fill the undergraduate uh, scholarship application so log in here to access the application scholarship application form so let me choose the both so here you can see the application number we have to fill that but currently we have no application number so before that we have to get the admissions so i am interested in let me show quickly quickly i will showing you undergraduate what is your interest say engineering so select apply then go so here courses will be showing up so let me choose this bachelor of civil engineering click on that so wait for the load So here you can see okay something different open it so let me go back so here you can see admission requirements so you can check details So here you can see the admission section then undergraduate then you can select the apply now here so here comes the admission guide so select the session apply from 15 October so you have to choose for international okay so select international here then you can select how to apply here so to begin your application please click here so here you will be a flow chart so here you can see how to apply and simply online application fill the entrance admission details direct admissions and others then offered shortlisted then successfully if you have successful application then you can when you will submit the application here so you can check stats within three days here it's written so you will be getting an admission number there so you have to add sorry sorry the application number there so you have to fill that application number here and then date of birth then click ok so then you can submit this scholarship application at the same time so here is the guide every detail is mentioned here so you have to follow this process so that was for the bachelors and the one that we applied earlier was the graduate or phd i hope you have understood the process and if you have any still doubts so you can comment down below the video thank you for watching please do subscribe and like this video